Turn them off, TV down. Niggas wasn't allowed to eat biscuits in them days. They eat the cornbread. So when the white woman left, nigga went in and cooked up a pan of biscuits. But by the time the biscuit got done, the white woman pulled up in the yard. Nigga grabbed the biscuit pan and set the pan in the chair and put a towel over it. So the woman come in the kitchen, she pulled in chairs, a pair of pot of pills and stuff like that. He said, burn your ass, burn your ass. <laughs> She gonna sit on the biscuits. Uh huh. She just did a little bit. Burn your ass. Burn your ass. Pop said they used to have a very poly parrots in them days. Say you were walking down from the side of the road. And he told the poly parrot, he said, Good morning. He ain't said, Pop, I said, Good morning. He still wouldn't say nothing. You better not be sitting here when I come back, Bella. <laughs> that what you said to the bird? Yeah. He said, he walked by, back by passing. He said, I said, good morning. He said, Papa, he knocked his ass off that phone. He kept going. <laughs> Play you, you didn't miss me. You tell everything else. I'm like, go tell that. <laughs> what did you say your grandsons be telling you? What you say your grandsons be telling you? Which one? You said they be telling you something. They be saying, Grandma. To Jalen, what Jalen be telling you? Jalen be talking about, Grandma, these nuts? (laughs) (laughs) That is not funny. That's all he knew. I knew what he was going to say when he said Grandma. (laughs) (laughs) And Carol, boy. What's wrong with these kids? Well, how come black people couldn't eat biscuits? They eat the cornbread. You took one with that white woman left. You took a pan of biscuits, too. Damn, they were not done. Niggas couldn't eat the biscuits. The pot sitting up there looking at her. The woman come in with the pulling chair. He looked up. He said, Bring your ass. Bring your ass. Man, cold folks was cold. They wouldn't let a nigga eat a biscuit, though. <laughs> that's why I, that's why they like biscuits and gravy so much. Uh-huh. Chicken and biscuits. Who? Biscuit and gravy. Comprise some chicken and make a big old skillet of gravy and cook two pans of biscuits. <laughs> and them days yeah, you cook like like uh, like uh, Miss and down there uh, Catherine's house. They mama get big, big, two big old pans of cornbread. She made gravy and chicken. I said, hell, we ain't used to that. Well, mama don't never feed us no gravy and cornbread. We don't have biscuits and cornbread. They from Louisiana, and they had cornbread. Two big old, she, they had about nine of them in the house. And she helped their mama make three big old pans of cornbread. And they come out down the aisle, we got two big old pans of biscuits. The man said in that movie. All the time, my mama cooked cornbread when she cooked greens or, corn, or, or beans or cornbread. I mean, beans, she would make a pan of cornbread. Or greens, she cooked a pan of cornbread. You going to eat have, your cornbread? We didn't have cornbread and syrup. Cornbread and syrup? They mama make them cornbread and they eat it with syrup. Cornbread and syrup. That wasn't nasty. It was good. They, they came up on it. We didn't come up on that. We came up on biscuits and syrup. Grandma, how come you got off the line that time? And you moved to the back? Go oh, so people are standing in front of me. were so ugly. <laughs> 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 I looked up there and seen an ugly woman in the ugly man in the hills. I know where the woman was standing. Think I'm with them. I got up and all the way to the end of the line. 
Why, because y'all all black? By the time I get up there, yeah, they'll be gone. <laughs> 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 this thing about the people in Chicago. <laughs> All of us? Oh. No, I was saying how they did Ari in Chicago. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been back that custom out to an airport. You would have told him, Grandma? I'll tell her, but they had to call a cop on me. <laughs> Why? What would you say? They already been there when they seen the angry black woman coming. I would have. I, I don't know why I would have started it, but I don't know. Grandma, grandma, that 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 <laughs> grandma and Aunt Curl both let them both go get them. Grandma, grandma. Shit, we wouldn't have enough money no, to get them no, out of jail. what you said yesterday about the airport. They wouldn't understand no. what Aunt Curl was oh, talking yeah. about, though. I can't say nothing about no bum because they probably what they bummed up that you look at my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell I'll shoot it up, but I have to. Oh, so I remember one time I was backing out. I used to be crazy though. Back I used to, I had parked my car and getting ready to back out. This woman come to park right behind me and let me and out, she just sit there. So I started the car and started backing up. She still wouldn't move. I blow the horn, she still wouldn't yeah. move. I said, you ain't gonna move? <laughs> <laughs> move when I get back in here. Well, I said, Mama, Grandma, I don't do nothing like that. Now, Mama, she said, don't do nothing like that. Don't you do? I said, I'm gonna put this thing and ranch it all the way down to the floor, coming back. Hit me. Well, I started that car and started back. She moved that car, too. I said, shit, I'm gonna eat your car. I don't care about the man. <laughs> That's my dear before they had the movie. <laughs> and she knew better than trying to be smart. I'm gonna show you how smart it is. Get back in this car and I'll show you. Start that thing up. Start it back. I'm gonna push it all the way to the floor. And one said, don't do that. Mommy, don't do that. You know better. I said, y'all better hold on. Mm. Oh, we on our way back. She moved that thing, I could wait till I went on out of there. But ain't nothing, I was on the freeway one night coming from uh, Wrigley. And it was Sunday evening, Saturday evening, don't be too much traffic. So this old thing, at that time, they had them on red and white buses. Mm. And I was driving, he get, he was right on me. I said, I wonder why he's driving on me like this. And I changed lanes. He changed lanes. You better behind me with this shit. Okay. I said, go ahead, keep on doing that. We do this all the way up till we get the front of them. I go behind you, you get behind. I go behind you, you get back. I'm in front of you, you get behind me and all this. I said, oh, he's trying to run me off the road. That's what he's trying to do way out here in this country. Grandma, tell us about the Greyhound bus. Well, that is the Greyhound. There was no Greyhound. That was that red and white bus. I forgot the name of it now. That's the bus you're talking about. And I, when I, 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 was, I was really driving. I was right driving that thing. And trying to get out, keep it out of his way. But he was right on me. So I got, I'm going to stay behind his ass now. And I patrolled that ass right on up in that Greyhound, that red bus yard. When he stopped it, I got out the car and let it Got out with the door wide, my door open, no one made it. Uh, and I reached down and got, got my, I had a, I had a, I always keep something to fight with. A shotgun? No. I reached down and got that knife. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want to say that. Yeah. When he got ready to step down out that bus, I was standing in the door. I said, what the hell you call yourself trying to do? Run me off the highway. All the way from Wrigley up to here, up to we got here. And I dare you out. That time two soldiers got off that bus. He said, wait a minute, wait a minute, we'll take care of it. I said, well, all right, I'm fixing to handle it if you don't. He said, go ahead on and get in your car, we got this. He asked, asked him, he had them all backed up against the wall. 
I said, yeah, he did that. He was trying to run me off the highway. He know better than that. That's cool. He messed with I the wrong black ass <laughs> one. I ain't that scared. He said, we see you ain't scared. So he told, he told me, go ahead on, we got this. And I got my car and left. I'm talking to his ass. You going to school?